dividends are great. More dividends are even better. Three times the number of dividends? Now that's worth making a video about. I love getting dividends. It's the easiest money I make every single month. But several months ago, I had a problem. I sold a mobile home that had been making me nice income every single month over the previous six years. I got it for a great deal. I paid $8,000 for it. And then six years later, a couple months ago, I sold it for $59,000. It was an awesome investment. And during that whole six years, I received between $700 and $800 a month. So overall, it was a great investment for me. So where can I put that money to generate a similar type of cash flow? I didn't want to put it back into rentals. I wanted to put it in something that was easier to manage with less headache and less potential risk. So I ran the return to see how much income I needed to replace. I'd been receiving about $800 per month over the previous several years. When I figured the approximate expenses of 50%, that left me with a situation where I needed to find about $400 in net income for that $59,000 I received when I sold the property. But I also wanted something extra. As you saw, the value of that mobile home went way up in price, so I wanted to be able to benefit from some stock price appreciation to replicate the appreciation I received from that mobile home. So how can I do that with stocks and options? I knew I could sell options during some nice consistent monthly cash flow, but I wanted to do something different. I wanted to line myself up to receive possible stock price appreciation along with that monthly cash flow. I could have put that money in some high dividend paying stocks. For example, I saw a video last night that kind of blew my mind. This YouTuber was saying how he takes a lot of his money and puts it in this stock here, CLM. He then does drip because it pays such a high dividend. In fact, he was saying it was paying about a 21% dividend. But when I looked at the chart, this is what I saw. The thing has dropped 95% over the past 16 and a half years. That's not an investment I want to stick my money in. On top of that, he was promoting using margin to buy more of it. That seems really scary to me. I don't like scary when it comes to investing my hard-earned money. So let's figure out a way to get triple dividends without investing in a scary chart like CLM and without using a bunch of margin. And for a kicker, let's figure out how we can benefit from some stock price appreciation. How about something like this? Here we see Alexandria Real Estate Company, ticker symbol ARE. It's currently trading for about $119 per share. It is a real estate investment trust. It pays a nice quarterly dividend of 4.26%. And by the way, this is one of the real estate companies I believe is currently undervalued. But how do we get triple dividends? Well, step one is to buy 100 shares of ARE. That 4.26 dividend is a nice start. It's not bad, but it won't replace the monthly cash flow we got from that mobile home we sold. But that is dividend number one. For our second dividend, we're going to turn that stock into a covered call. And let's say I don't want to do a lot of work. Let's say I only want to place a trade once every nine months. Here you see I'm showing you the options that expire in nine months or 270 days from today. And remember, ARE is currently trading for around $120 per share. So if we look to sell the $140 strike price cover call option, here you see we'll get between $3.40 per share and $6.60 per share. So if we go in the middle of that, we expect to get about $5 per share for this cover call option. When you do the math to annualize that return, it means we'll realize about a 5.6% annualized return for selling this cover call option. So that's dividend number two. We're now up to almost 10% when it comes to dividends between the actual dividend we're receiving and the cover call we've just sold, and the stock can go up by $20 before this cover call option is challenged. So we have the benefit of potentially $20 of stock price appreciation if it were called away from us between now and November 15th, which is 270 days from now. That's a pretty good situation. We get almost 10% in dividends. And we also have the possibility of almost 17% stock price appreciation over the next nine months. But I promised you triple dividends. So if you want to go further, here's how you get that third potential dividend. Now I've switched the put side of this option chain. It's the same expiration day. It's the options that expire in nine months or 270 days from now. To get our third dividend, we're going to sell a cash secured put option or bullish put credit spread. In just a minute, I'll share how you can handle this if it goes against you, but for now, let's focus on this third dividend. Remember, ARE is trading for about $119 to $120 per share. In the yellow box, you see we're gonna sell the $100 strike price put option. That's about $20 per share lower than where ARE is currently trading at. For that, we'll get between $2.55 per share and $5.90 per share. So if you go in the middle of that, we expect to get around $4.22 per share. If you analyze that return based on the $100 we'd have at risk, it equates to about a 5.7% annualized return. That puts our total dividends, which is a combination of actual dividends and the option premium we received at right around 15%. But you might be thinking, yeah, Randy, but you sold a put option. So you have more money at risk and you're right. I do, and that's very important to understand. It's very important to know what you have at risk anytime you place a trade. But let me finish talking you through my scenario here. Yours will most likely be different. Let me talk you through my scenario here. How much do we have at risk 
with this cover call and now cash care put option position. Notice here in the blue box that my broker is saying I need $964 to enter this cash care put option position. That's a lot less than the $10,000 I would need if it were assigned to me, but that is their margin requirement. Once I enter this cash care put option, the maintenance margin requirement will be $877 if ARE and everything else remains the same from where it's at now. Now that won't happen. The stock will move up and down and as that happens, the margin requirement will also go up and down. Now please know I'm not promoting the use of margin here. I'm simply talking through a scenario that I thought through when I was looking to replace my rental income on that mobile home that I sold. If you want to do a similar type of position more to decrease your risk, you can always turn this cash care put option that I'm selling that expires November 15th with the $100 strike price. You can always buy a put option below that to decrease how much you had at risk. But I'm comfortable selling this additional cash care put option for a couple reasons. First, I do have the cash set aside to buy it if it came to that. Second, if I were able to buy 100 more shares of ARE at $100 per share, I'd be very happy to do that because I believe it's already trading at a discount. Third, I'm going to continue collecting interest on that cash I've set aside in case this were assigned to me. And when I have a rental property, I always have cash set aside in case for emergency anyways, so it's kind of the same thing. Now let's talk through our three possible scenarios of what might possibly happen with this position. Remember, it's a covered call. We've also sold an additional cash care put option to get our triple dividends. Before I do that, please understand that I believe Aries fair value is around $135 to $140 per share. So that cover call ends up being assigned at $140 per share. I'm happy with that because we sold it at what I consider a fair market value. And we're also paid a nice return for that. We got nice triple dividends, but we also got the benefit of $20 per share in stock price appreciation. That to me is the ideal outcome. So that's outcome number one. The put option expires worthless and the cover call option is caught away from us because ARE is above $140 per share at expiration. Now the second scenario is we'll say the worst scenario. And that's if ARE were to come way down in price. And this one probably is the more complicated one, so I'm going to talk through it with you. So obviously our covered call would expire worthless. We get to keep that premium. We also get to pocket the dividend that's going to pay out between now and 270 days from now, or the next nine months worth of dividends. But the little bit of a problem might come with this cash care put option that we sold here. Let's say, for example, that ARE was at $85 per share at expiration. Let's say we didn't do anything with it between now and then, which we could, but let's say that we're not going to do that. We have a couple choices. We can either let this option be assigned to us, so we have to buy 100 more shares at $100 per share, since that's the strike price of the put option we sold, and I'd actually be okay with that as of right now. Because I think ARE is already undervalued, to be able to buy it at $20 per share lower than it's trading at now, I'm actually happy with that. I wouldn't mind accumulating 100 more shares of ARE at $100 per share. But let's say you didn't want to do that. Let's say you didn't want the put option assigned. Instead of letting the put option be assigned, you can look to roll that put option down as you roll it out in time. And remember, since you still own the stock, you can sell additional cover calls against it. You're also getting that dividend all along the way on the shares that you own. But another possible scenario, and you really want to think through this and really put a pen to paper to make sure you understand what would happen. Since you own 100 shares, if the stock were below $100 per share, you technically be assigned 100 shares. You could sell the 100 shares you already own that you bought around 119 per share and use that capital to help fund paying for the 100 shares you're buying at $100 per share. Or instead of doing that, you could just buy this $100 put option back at a loss. Personally, if I have the capital set aside, which I always do, I'd rather try and roll the cash care put option down as I roll it out or let it be assigned and buy 100 more shares at $100 per share. But you do have some things you can do to help prepare, adjust, or maneuver with this position if it were to climb below the $100 per share and you didn't want to own 200 shares worth of ARE. Now the third scenario is probably the one that I would like the best because I get to keep all the premium. And that's where ARE is trading between the 140 cover call option you sold and the $100 cash care put option that you sold at expiration. Because that would enable me to stick with the position and do it all over again. Continue collecting that dividend, sell a new cover call, and sell a new cash care put option. And that's the case if nothing fundamentally changes with the company between now and the date these options expire. If you decide to sell this additional cash care put option, please make sure you understand the risk you're taking. You are taking additional risk, and it is more than the $900 I showed here, because if the stock were assigned to you at $100 per share, you would need $10,000 to cover that one put option contract, which is equivalent of 100 shares worth of ARE. Options can put a lot of cash into your pocket every single month, and if designed correctly, positions can line you up for nice stock price appreciation as you saw here. You can design positions any way you want. They're really only limited by your imagination. If you'd like to get an alert whenever I buy stock or sell options, check out the benefits of becoming a patron down at the link in the description below. I have another ops trading technique I use to generate nice dividends on non-dividend paying stocks. If you'd like to see how I do that, check out the video at the link below and in the description below entitled, How to Turn Microsoft 
Apple and Tesla into a 30% dividend paying stock. Until next time, happy investing and we'll see you again soon.